before I tell you anything, turn your volume up as loud as it can go. Right, so we've got Inkanyeni, who's pacing around quarantine, who looks like an absolute monster of a leopard. He is really big. Isn't he such a beautiful cat? I can't believe that he's not even quite four years old just yet. Now, I don't know where Inkanyeni's cubs are. They apparently aren't around at the moment. And I suspect that she may be a slightly upset with quarantine coming into her territory. We'll see, apparently they were fighting a little bit earlier. It seems to have settled down slightly. We're gonna sit here and watch the action unfold. This is absolutely incredible. You can see Kanyeni at the back, just listening and watching. And she's gonna try and keep her cubs away from him. And that's probably why she's going to act a little bit more on the aggressive side. But let's see what happens. I'm not going to try and depict the situation. I think we'll just watch it unfold. However, I must say, I am absolutely blown away at the size of this leopard. He is a lovely boy. He really is beautiful. Now, never did I think that we were going to find Quarantine and Inkanyeni. I was under the impression it was just Mr. Quarantine here. But my goodness, what an amazing surprise. Now I've got two leopards in one drive that I haven't seen yet, so my leopard count is getting quite good. Now I'm also not sure how old Nkanyeni's cubs are. I haven't seen them before, and this is the first time I'm seeing her, but she looks like a mature girl. She looks like she's at least older than about 10 years old, somewhere around there. But I'll need to get the exact birth dates, of course, and add them to my book. What you heard me click my pen, I'm going to do exactly that. Now, like I said, I'm still these two leopards I've never seen before, and of course. You really get to learn a lot about them when you spend time with these animals. So I'd appreciate any information you have about either leopards that would help me understand what's probably going to happen here. You know, have they been sighted together before? Or is this the first time that, they've re that we've ever really seen them encountering each other? You can see Quarantine though has put his head back down. He seems to be quite relaxed and not really too bothered by Inkanyeni. However, he is so big, he makes Nkanyeni look like a cub. The size difference is uh, quite large, of course. I honestly didn't expect <laughs> that quarantine would be this size. I thought he would have been slightly smaller. And there they sit peacefully for the moment. I'm not even sure who the mother of Inkanyeni is. Now, I think a couple of you are probably thinking what I'm thinking or what I've said to you about how massive quarantine is and I know that Aqua is thinking exactly that. Now, I don't know when you last saw quarantine. Like I said, I didn't expect him to be this big. I'm going to sit quietly again. Turn your volume up. She's growling. Now, as she moves around, you can see how Quarantine sits up and watches very carefully. He's sort of lowering himself a little bit. The growls are just coming from Nkanyeni. Oh yes, 
It's just me turning my radio off. I believe the last time you saw quarantine was on the 10th of October, which is actually not too long ago. I, I, like I said, I've never seen him. I can't believe how massive he is. Look at him. My goodness, the other boys in this area are going to have to watch out. He's definitely got youth on his size, side as well as his size. I think he's quite large for such a young leopard. And he's only going to get bigger. In the next year or so, that dewlap is probably going to start to develop. And when he gets to about six, well, he's really going to start entering the prime of his life where he's going to think about challenging some of the resident males for their territories. I don't think Quarantine's got a particularly large territory. From what I've seen and what I've heard, I know he goes on to Nkoro quite a bit. Of course, a cheetah plains. And I can only imagine occasionally the torchwood as well, but maybe you could also help me with his territory span. And when he does become quite dominant, he's going to be able to challenge other male leopards and push them further away just to open up and expand his territory a little bit more. And that will only happen though as he gets older.